With West Lafayette's continued growth, the City Parks Department now has a new plan to go ahead and upgrade some current facilities and also build some new ones. As News 18's Cameron de Blasio reports, the department will continue to seek public input as these plans become a reality. With seven short-term improvement plans and 13 long-term projects, the West Lafayette Parks Department is set to begin implementing its new five-year plan. The Park Board approved the 140-page master plan last month. West Lafayette Parks Assistant Superintendent Greg Mitchell says the city's plan is overwhelmingly based on input from residents. Some of the most common requests have been more dog parks throughout the city, additional green spaces for open play and organized sports, and improvements to Happy Hollow Park. Mitchell says the department will focus on eliminating erosion issues and expanding the playground area at Happy Hollow. He also says as each of the 20 plus projects begin, residents will continue to be part of the conversations. As we actually hire a, a vendor to develop that and actually make it come to life, we'll get input at that point. That way we're getting all the things built in that we need because we may not, yeah, we want the park, but there may be certain amenities that, hey, we wish we should have that there. And the only way to do that is to get feedback as we go through that process as well. Mitchell says the city's redevelopment commission will fund a portion of these projects and West Lafayette will also apply for funding through the Indiana Department of Natural Resources Land and Water Conservation Fund as well as other state and federal grants. Now other projects for Cumberland Park, Navajo Park and the future Cason Family Park will likely begin within the next year. And for a full list of the master plan's proposed improvements, you can visit this story on our website, WLFI.com. Reporting in studio, Cameron de Blasio, News 18.